And we're back. <laughs> Holy shit. And here we are. And now you can go straight up. Or you can talk to him. <gasps> Watch guys. Did I? <laughs> is that optimistic? No, this is the start of my if journey. You, if you just died. This is this is the start of my journey away from optimism. Asking that question. Oh, fuck. This dude. is it. The character arc. Bad dream or something. You look half asleep. I know it's tradition to sleep out under the stars, but if you ask me, it makes you all a bit jumpy. Well, that's it. Oh, no. The slow descent into the, uh, the, the chaos and uncertainty of the universe. I'm getting closer and closer to becoming a cynical douchebag. <laughs> <laughs> I'm the Joker, baby. <laughs> 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 Welcome back to Outer Wilds, uh, episode three. I'm the Joker, baby. That's it. That's the name of the episode now. This is yeah. no, we're not there yet. Yeah, we can't name it straight away. I'm going to, have to get the launch code. I already got them. Huh? Oh shit! I just know them. MDN. Was it? Was it MDN? <laughs> it was MDN. Yeah. Uh, are we doing? Is this the next one? What? Are we in episode three or the yeah, end of episode, episode two? Episode three. <laughs> okay, started. here I'm we are. It. I'm going to end the second one on another screening, I think. <laughs> um, so first thing you want to do when you wake up is suit up and then check the ship log and see where you want to go. Yeah, the ship log seems really, really well built. It's, well, it's my favorite way of disseminating world building. I've so, ever seen. As, uh, so for some context. Wait, open it up just so the time's not ticking. Okay. Time pauses when you um, so, so for some context, I have been following this game since it was first announced like three, four years ago. Yeah, they had like a pre-alpha. Yeah, yeah. Like this game came out. version. And I, well, I never played it, but I, I noticed that it came out and I was like, my eye is on this fucking game. But I had no idea that it would evolve to such a polished point. It's so polished. I always thought it would be something really loose and just like kind of like explorey, like whatever. Mm. But they, they like, they nailed the game aspect of the wonder of space exploration and like the mystery and everything. Because... This is the stuff that's going on in your head already, but it just takes the mental load off of being a conspiracy theorist. Yeah, cool, because at any point, like I stopped playing the game for about a four days at one point because I was too busy. Yeah. And then I came back and I just read through the log and I was like, okay, cool. Yeah, this is where you are. Like any question mark is like, right, that's so where I'm going. If you go to eye signal locator, that little asterisk means we didn't find everything there. So At should... the eye signal locator. Yes. So we might be dumbasses and we might... I have to go back, but let's do that later. Because it'll just be some tidbit. It's just like a thing where it's like, whatever. It means that we didn't find... There's still a translating thing there. Yeah, okay. I think the thing that we missed, there's a little uh, tape recorder from one of our friends. Oh, okay. And I'm pretty sure that's like the... Sh like, we got the deep lore, but that's like the shallow lore. It's like, we yeah. don't know what this thing does. Because I figure there's some world buildy stuff that like isn't super important that won't show up on here. Uh, so all the gray stuff is the stuff that's not critical for beating the game. But that oh, okay. being said, the gray stuff is really useful. You like you need like And just also interesting. Yes. And if like, it has Luna Lookout, for example. If it has an exclamation mark, that means that I just haven't read the entry yet. Yes. Yeah, okay. And that summarizes everything you need to know about the place. Yeah. Cool. Alright, so we've got two threads plus all of the people that we could go visit. Yeah. We should probably well, do we want to go to the Southern Observatory or visit more boys? Um I think we want to visit all the boys first. All really? Yes. That's a lot of threads to get, but sure, let's do it. Well, do you want, which planet do you want to go to? Um, well, so how far away is is stuff? Uh, if you go to, if you hit the, the back button. Back. Ooh. You can see where stuff is. So. And if you do that while you're in the ship, you can lock onto a planet. Oh, nice. As okay. in like, when you buckled up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So let's go, let's go Brittle Hollow. All right. That sounds like a good place to start. So you buckle up, you hit back. Hit back. And then you... Riddle hollow. Left stick. Left and stick. And back again. You should have a notification. Ring that bell. Subscribe to Brittle Hollow now. Wait, where is it? It's below you. Oh, it's, you can see it on the right there. And now nice. you can use autopilot. How do you do that? Uh, up on the D-pad. And you just... Here we go. Yeah. Oh, wait, it's, it's not perfect. Is it going to land? No. It'll just get you within orbit. Oh, cool. You can get out in space, yeah? Yeah, you can get out whenever you want, but your ship will fall. Is that a landing pad? Mm, I think it is. That's oh, a good place to land. Can I do it? Oh, oh shit. Wait, land next to it. Okay. <laughs> it's, a, it's a cool thing to look at. 
Hey, I'm a genius. You did it. I'm already an expert. Um, why did you ever doubt me? Oh, signal nearby. Uh, oh. Uh, um. Hey. Ooh. Should I go there? Yes. Or should I go up to this thing? I'm gonna go up to this thing. Let's just see what it is. Ooh. <gasps> oh. Oh, wow. That goes down. Watch your scout. <laughs> oh! Bonk. I don't do oh, I know where you are. This place is awesome. Oh, there's too many things. Yeah, <laughs> I'm just I'm just gonna go over here first. Right, yeah, I'll read the I'll read the text later. Okay. There is like literally a big sign on the top of that thing that tells me what it is. Oh hell yeah. Oof. Okay. Um Plume, Felix, and I have determined this atypical shard of rock is the reason objects in this grove are behaving in a quantum manner. Quantum manner. <laughs> Episode four. <laughs> <laughs> the only other Who object the butler in quantum manner. <laughs> Oh, fuck yeah. Alright, head cannon. We're in a house. <laughs> uh, head cannon is we're in a house. <laughs> uh, quantum behavior is wandering the moon. I imagine the moon's behavior in this grove related. I don't know from the earlier. Wandering moon. Alright, that's a that's a yellow word for you. Yeah. Felix mentioned this strange type of rock isn't isn't found elsewhere in Brittle Hollow. So that's that weird purple rock we found, this quantum shard, if you if you will, was from here. Uh, the, you, oh, it's from a wandering quantum moon. Yeah. Perhaps it's even a small piece of the moon itself. Of note, a unique signal is coming from this shard. Curiously, our friend the wandering moon sounds the same. The wandering moon is such a good friend. Yeah? Yeah. Like, good bud in this space adventure? Yeah. I've also heard the same signal this shard produces calling out from the giant's deep, timber hearth, and hourglass twins. So, there's just lots of shards. Yeah. Alright, I mean, that makes sense. Um... What is... Is all this... Um, so, one thing that they said in there that's important to note is that the trees are wandering around. Oh. So, if you... These trees? Yeah. So, if you look at a tree, and then look away. <gasps> what? What? <laughs> Wait, what? Oh. Uh, there's... What the... F oh, you park your ship where the... Oh, my God. Is. <laughs> I thought that was, like, a giant fucking creature that was, like... Oh, Jesus. Oh yeah, this place is pretty dangerous. Oh my god, John! <laughs> oh my god, I'm terrified. Now. Uh, read the uh, read the thing. Now. I'm gonna die. Holy fuck, I'm spooked. I'm so I'm so thoroughly. Yeah, so spooked. yeah, you park your ship in a quantum bit. So every time you look away from the ship and back, there's like stuff spawning in and around <laughs> it. So the ship will be fine. But that's the one janky thing about this game. Yeah, is that uh, quantum things will pop inside your ship and God damn it, away. the trees are moving. The trees in this grove wander about freely. The entire uh, this is not normal. <laughs> This is not normal? What is normal, exactly? What do they classify as normal? If anyone else witnesses this disturbing behavior, I implore you, record your observations. These trees are aberrant, or well, my brain must be. Bloom is right. The trees do move. I confess, I didn't notice until I read it. I think these... I think all these guys yeah, are on shards. I, I, I spoiled that one. Um, oh, I know, I mean, look. You say, I think these guys are on shards. <laughs> Quantum <laughs> shards. Oh, <God. laughs> Alarmingly, it isn't only the trees. There is other matter... Um, that rock is unusual for another reason too. It possesses color and texture I've never seen anywhere else. The rock shard present six in that we should study it. Could be what other causing to move around the area. Which rock exactly? Uh, the big one that we ordered. That one. This one? No, the one you lose. That one. Oh, the one with. <laughs> it was good fucking. Where gone. is it? There it is. <laughs> that one. <laughs> that one. And there's more text. God, I, I'm scared that it's gonna <laughs> be in front of me. <laughs> Beneath your feet lies the Tower of Quantum Tower Knowledge. Tower of Quantum Knowledge! Okay, uh, uh, connections severed with uh, Matt Quantum Manor. My new best friend is <laughs> Tower, Tower of Quantum, Quantum Knowledge. Knowledge. <laughs> um, if you're preparing to make your first pilgrimage to the Quantum Moon, descend the steps to the entrance below. The knowledge held within will help you on your journey. These steps. Well, cool. I guess so. Is there another thing that I missed? Or uh, is that you read two? everything. I think you are That's up to it. date. I am knowledged up. So we are at the equator, Brittle Hollow, at the Tower of Quantum Knowledge. Good. That's good. Oh, Jesus. Oh, yeah. So this is the inside of this planet. Holy crap. Yeah. Um, so, you know how I <gasps> you know how I said I had, like, fear of, like, the ocean and, like, large spaces Yeah, you're not going to like giant state. This is this, basically. Yeah. Like, things underneath 
It's not often that you find hollow things, right? Yeah. In the world, like in our world, it's not super often. Most things are pretty solid, yeah. But this is all, this is hollow all the way down. Uh, <laughs> elevator up. Did it. Elevator down. Is this back to the surface? Uh, that's, you're, the, if you pop into it, it would pop you back out. Yeah. Well, uh, should I? I don't know, that's up to you, dude. There's a lot of stuff here, um, like heaps of stuff, but mo most of it is nonsense. The thing, I think, the thing that you want to be doing here is looking for the guy. If you're uh, oh, was there a guy here? Quantum fluctuations. Now I have a thing. Where was the person here? Was it's there... the white one. Which so one? The red ones are off planet. The white ones are on planet. Oh, so he's like right beneath you. Which means, yeah, go down the thing. Sure. Um, why? Why not? I've only got. And you can read that little sign. Those signs tell you where you're going. Yeah, it said the the tower oh, right. is down here. Down I go. Yeah. Oh jeez. Yeah, it's real cool. Oh my lord. Um, just so you don't get too spooked by the black hole, nothing scary happens if you fall into it. I did know that. I do know. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> uh. <laughs> <laughs> so I know about the black hole. That is that's something that I, that's I, something that you I, know about. I am familiar with. Yeah. All right, read that stuff. This. No, that's, that's floor. <laughs> Be welcome to this place. Uh, if you're making your first pilgrimage to the quantum moon, ascend these stairs and obtain the last of the knowledge. The needed last for of the knowledge. These stairs. Yeah. I think there's like gravity flooring. <gasps> oh. Is there more text? Nope. No, that's it. Here I go. Oh. That's not gonna work, is it? Yeah. So just so you don't waste any time. Oh my god. What the f- Ah! What the shit? Uh, that's the planet collapsing. What? What? Huh? Wait, what? So <laughs> what am I doing? Riddle Hollow is being, like, smashed by, uh, meteors all the time. Oh, and as to see how that there's a big, a big hole there now. Yeah. Uh, okay, what am I doing before it's too late? Uh, talk to old man. Where is he? It's this way. So you can turn on that. Boy. Crossroads. Up. Sure. Which way? Uh, it'll. I don't try and steer it, or else you might fall out. I've never actually managed it. They both go in the same thing. They both go to the same place. Yes, they converge. Oh, this is super happening. You are the, the worst travel companion. <laughs> you know when you... You know like all the stories of people who go to like say Mexico and it's just like, work it out. Yeah. This is you. Yeah. <laughs> I am giving you, I think, the amount of guidance that I was looking forward to giving you in playing this game. Because when I was playing, I was like, oh, the ceiling fell. That's weird. I don't like that. I... Oh God. I like to feel somewhat safe. Can I direct this thing? Yes. No. How do I... You might be able to. I mean, you might not have to. You Where just, is the person? They just said he left. There you go. Oh, cool. Let's talk to him before I fucking die. Yes. Oh, hell yeah. Who's this? It's Ryback. Ryback, did it's you know my that my favorite this... song. I love the banjo song. It's real good. Did you know that this planet was... <laughs> this was happening? I guess that means we've been out here for a while. Well, this is Brittle Hollow. A lot of history here. It's great. <laughs> <laughs> I'm here to see the Hanging City. It's always been my dream to see it with my own four eyes. Ever since I was a hatchling. An alien race lived in this solar system long before our species ever existed. How could I not want to see what their civilization was like? Only, you probably heard other people saying it right. I'm afraid of space. Seriously. I'm more surprised than anyone that I'm out here. You know how I got this far? Tripped over a gravity crystal. It's dumb luck. I landed somewhere my little scout is halfway stable instead of being sucked into Oh yeah, your little below. scout can tell you how stable the floor is where you are. Oh, for like how long? Yes. Oh, cool. I've been gauging the stability of the ground using my little scout, and this seems to be the only place with the there best service go. integrity. I've been gauging the stability of the ground using my little scout. Ah, everything is a fact. Everything is a fact. Everything is a learning experience. But that's enough about me and my problems. Um, I learned something every day. What is it? Never mind. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, see, you can tell them you stuff can, that you learn, but they'll yeah, just be yeah, like, yeah. that's cool. Awesome. Yeah. Hell yeah. I mean, look, that's how most people react when I tell them things. <laughs> Not the black hole, that's... Which is unfortunately... 
Uh, including the Hanging City. Hanging City! Yeah, well, there it is. He said it before, but now this time it's special. You can kind of see it from here. This dome... Southern, Southern Obs Observatory! You can't get inside from the surface, trust me, I tried. But, if it's like the rest, it's probably something. Good luck exploring. I'd like to hear it. It's not so much trouble. Um, yeah, okay. There I, you go. I found the person. And you can always refuel... Um, it's that tank to your right. Whenever you need a boy. Oh, yeah. Just good. So... Um, there's some there's some places on this planet to look for. Mm -hmm. There's heat. This is like the probably the most densely. It's the most annoying place to get around, and it also has the most shit. Should I go in there? Uh, you can. The episodes we're almost out of time, so I guess. Yes, go for it. Jesus Christ. Wait, to turn around. Uh, yeah. Lock on. To what? That. Oh. It, the sun. Well, you're 300 meters away from something. Oh. We'll see you next time <laughs> on <laughs> no, should Quantum we... Manor. Yeah, we're about to die, aren't we? No. We're about to end. This is about to be... This is about to be the closing time... Closing shop, isn't it? No. Not for a bit. You've been reading a lot. Oh, okay. And time pauses when you read. All right. Well, next time. Let's um, let's die in space. Bye bye. <laughs> All right. Oh, this is walkie floor. Walkie floor. Uh, one small step for me. Yeah. One. Yeah. Mm. Large burrito, please. <laughs> With extra. <laughs> I'm really scared. Is what yeah, I'm trying to really say. Bad. Uh, that's a door in front of you to your left. This yeah. one. Yeah, that's a door. Is that my? Oh. Oh, yeah, your ship's pretty far away now. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I love oh. these doors, dude. They're real cool. All right. Oh, oh, okay. This is just the witness. Yeah. Nice. Wait, stay. Don't get disoriented. Yeah, there you go. Those things really piss me off. Oh, okay. Here I am. Um, that should floor you. Yeah. This is not a thing. Uh, that is one hundred and ten percent a thing. Also, so is that thing there yeah the projection stone uh but read the text on the wall and it'll teach you something really really cool here we go welcome to the white hole station did you fall through the black hole by accident don't worry you aren't the first you can use this warp tower to return to brittle hollow warp towers work like this stand in the middle of the platform on the floor look up and wait the path opens when the tower's corresponding astral body in this case is directly overhead cool so if you look at that iconography that's brittle hollow and that's you Oh, cool. That's what that means. Yeah. Um, so ah, it was a bit lower. Downstairs and use that projection stone. In between. Which will teach you something. There you go. That's the downstairs. Downstairs. <gasps> Going down. All right. Yeah. Is that... Is this floor? No, okay. This is floor. If you... There's... Oh, no. You, yeah, you take it back with you. Oh. This is the thing. This turns the whole place on. I think. Yeah. Is there another one? Whoa. So, so now you're spinning around and you will I will so go oh when up. it lines up yeah so go back upstairs I see and stand in the middle and look up where's, where's this stone for uh, you want to carry it back with you because you put it so projection stones are like text but you got to put them in a projector though oh okay so it's different to the text logs yes when, do, when is it going to line up Does it? will it always just look towards here we go it? oh shit <gasps> it's happening Please don't put me into the sun. Oh! Here I am. Here you are. <laughs> so there is a projector nearby. There's a little town. You are on the North Pole now. I'm really going the long way around, aren't I? Okay. Uh, wow. Ooh, read that. Departure time. Arrival time. What? Make note. Departure time as in... And that's the time, that's how many seconds into the loop we departed. And that's when we arrived. What? Yeah. Wait, is that different now? No, oh, <laughs> fucking... <laughs> Hang on. Uh, translate. That's just a fact. That's a, that's a current fact. But notice. Yeah? We arrived. Point zero 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 one second earlier than we left. We... From this point? 
from the tele that that thing is a little thingy that tracks how long it take, took us to warp from oh, Whitehall Station. Right. So and it's we rel- arrived before we left. It's relativity. Very slightly. Oh, relativity which, can't do that. Which means if we fall into the black hole, time is essentially paused. When we use the warper, we arrived before we left. So anything we do after a warp, how does it know when we leave? It just tracks it. Anyway, go into this little town and you will learn about that. <laughs> <laughs> hey, right. I should stop asking questions. Um, the Hanging City, below. Oh. Yeah. It's kind of- <laughs> Is that it? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, the Hanging City, a tiny little ice butthole. Uh, to our friends on Brittle Hollow, I warped here we go. This from end. the Whitehall Station on the other side of Brittle Hollow. Our design worked. We've successfully recreated warp travel. Warp travel. This is wonderful news. Okay, so this is the one person who's like, awesome. <laughs> that's that's all they say. Yeah. Um, He's just like, thumbs up. Or like, that, that's heart it. react. Yeah. I'm really happy for you. That's it. That's all it is. Congratulations. <laughs> I don't know how close it is to Anona's original design, but as long as we've built, as long as what we've built works, then I'm delighted. I knew we could do this. Wait, this can't be correct. Have you seen these readings? If they were accurate, they would violate causality. <gasps> there must there be must an be. error. There's always an error. I'm returning to the Whitehall station. If you and Root meet me there, we can run a full diagnostic and hopefully locate the problem. Don't tell. Kibasa. I feel like I should be remembering these names. No. So the know my names, you don't have to remember. Ooh, it's happening. It it's happening soon. Um, um, you'll know when it's happening because there's ooh, a music cue. Is that a religious thing? Hmm. Oh, that's a... Um, see, the top one is a black mm-hmm. connecting to a white, and there's a guy in the middle. <gasps> oh, it's a it's teleporter. A nice. Uh, so there should be a projector in this like building somewhere. Yeah, there it is. Oh, you're right. Yeah. Right here? So both of these are projectors. Do this one first. I love this shit. Ooh. Whoa. Huh? <gasps> Whoa. So this is like we're on the planet that so this we're projecting? Is a projection of in between. Like we're there. Yeah. <gasps> oh! <laughs> <laughs> he, st- he really liked that projection. Uh, so pick up that projection thingy and put it in the other one. Which one? Oh, it's here, right? Behind you. Yep. And it should. Text. Oh, wow. So this is telling us stuff about Embertwin. And that was projecting the physical representation of it. So you know what place this is talking about. This is like after DVDs. Dude, stone tablets. <laughs> <laughs> oh! You got, oh you, got, you got Betamax, you got DVDs, and now you have multifaceted media devices. Yeah. And Uh-oh. it's like it's like a double it's like a double layer DVD. Dual layered. <laughs> it's a dual layer. <laughs> You can see the place or you can hear about it. Yeah, read about it, yeah. There's so many things. Wait, audio track, video. Uh, Rami and I review the records you sent. Uh, they appear to show Nomai are arriving at the warp receiver on Brittle Hollow slightly before departing from the White, White Hollow, Hollow Station. Station. That's the one. Sorry. I understand it's exceedingly odd, but Clary and I have tested and retested the equipment and the result is the same every time someone warps. The interval is incredibly minuscule. Do you suppose our instruments can't accurately measure time to such a small degree? Totally possible. As I've already told Raimi... Oh, dude, what a way to start an email. Out. What? As I've already told... As I've already... As per my previous tablet. <laughs> <laughs> as per my previous projection stone. <laughs> How can a Nomai arrive on Brittle Hollow before he or she never stepped into the teleporter? The implications are absurd. Pokey, as Pi is confidently reading... Is accurate... Wait, what? As confident the reading is accurate... She's kindly helping me attempt to recreate this phenomenon at High Energy Lab. Hi... Oh. Anyway, <laughs> I, was, I was really late on that one. This, this is going to happen a lot. Yeah. We're designing an experiment to take more data. Uh, Pokey, the high energy lab is in the canyon on Ember Twins Equator. Come here at once. So you know where that projector? Uh, that's that, where it was. That was the high energy lab. Nice. I don't disagree. It would mean I've inadvertently broken several fundamental theories regarding this universe. This universe? Cool. No, that's not cool. There's okay. one universe. Oh, There's <laughs> very specifically one universe in this game. We would have to reconsider all of our beliefs about nature of time. Yes, I hope so too. I think Such I think a shitty little response in the end. <laughs> um, I feel like them saying this just kind of goes to show how they think about the universe. They yes. may, they may only be in one universe, but they know there's multiple. You know. So 
Fun- they- functionally speaking, don't think about that. No, like we're not going to go to another universe. Yeah. But as a race, they're like, yeah, there's more. They open the idea. Yeah. 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 Um, they're like, there's only one universe. <laughs> but what if? <laughs> Unless. <laughs> <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> so are we on Brittle Hollow. Oh, your ship. Uh, okay, so your ship also fell into the. You're basically stuck here until the next loop. Oh hell yeah! Did it fall into the black hole? Yes. So um, the bit you were parked on would have fallen in. So we can't go back to that place. You can go up there. See what happens. Why not? Ooh, there's text. Ah! <laughs> you really do fucking jump. Oh, yeah, put that projection stone down. It's annoying me. <laughs> Just put it. Just it <laughs> put that tape. Uh, you know, in the you know the Hulk when he like jumps across the desert. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Ugh. <laughs> <laughs> Has anyone observed the phantom moon that sometimes greets us in the night sky? Your thoughts interest me. Phantom moon. Remember? Quantum moon. It's just like posting a picture and being like, anyone? And then we got two little threads here. Uh, I compliment your eyes. Hypothesis. Could it be a shift in the light spectrum? Suppose this moon is too shy to show us its face. Okay. Oh, God. I hate this thread. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm interested in your playful moon. It's much like its violent friend, Hollow's Lantern. I haven't so heard of Hollow's, that place. Hollow's Lantern is the... Um, it's like it's not a spoiler. It's the uh, orbiting thing that's shooting meteors at Brittle Hollow right now. Oh, I see. Okay, this moon isn't volcanic to my unaided eyes. Sometimes it leaves its friend Hollow's lantern for nights at a time. The nights the moon circles this planet appear random. It seems to travel as it likes. Imagine if there's two volcanic moons. <laughs> Imagine if. <laughs> what a world. Yeah, this, he's just he's just, he's a, he's a troll. That's me. That guy's me. Yeah. I, I relate to Dude, that. What if there was. What if there was two another minutes. one? How quick would things be if there was two? <laughs> <laughs> there can exist too much lava. I'd strongly prefer we test our null hypothesis. This thread sucks. Yeah. <laughs> this, is, this was pointless. I hate that we read it. Oh, but they did, it updated the log. For some reason, our ship considered this significant, even though it's fucking kilometers away. Yeah. Where is it? It's exploding. It's in the White Hall. It's, it's near the White Hall station. Oh, dude, look up. What? Where? Oh, it's gone. Huh? Wait, what? Phantom moon! <gasps> oh, is it a quantum moon? Is it a quantum rock moon? You're learning. <gasps> oh! That's a big... Oh, how the fuck do we get there? I guess we just need to look at it and then make sure we go to it. Is it always orbiting this place? Ah! Jesus. Oh, the scout launcher. Um, How do we... Oh, we're good. We can... You're fine here, yeah. We can just stay here. For a little bit. But yeah, I don't want to spoil anything with the quantum moon, but you are, uh, you're learning. On the right track. Yeah. It's my favorite, my, so this game was, like, cool. Uh, the phantom moon, the quantum moon stuff makes it, like, the best. Why, why just, why that? I just, I love the idea of stuff that, <gasps> there it is. Should I fly there? I mean, you can't, you I could it. I couldn't make it. Oh, man, look at that. That's fucked up. That's just, uh, the planet's cool. bit, can't fit. It's super gone. So this is, uh... <laughs> no, <laughs> that's not going to work. You might be able to hit it, actually. Oh, yep, that's definitely... Definitely happening, isn't it? Did I... Ah, oh, fucking <laughs> shit. <laughs> God damn it. Play for no. <laughs> oh, there it is. Is that yeah, it? That's a tower shard. So you need to ID all the shards in order to attract the moon effectively. Because otherwise you're just like, unknown. Cool. Wait, ID the shards? Yes. You can... So the tower oh. so the tower shard is ID'd because you scanned it when you were really close. The same thing with your friends. The tower shard? Which one was that one? Uh, if you keep looking around, you should find it. It's the one on... Uh... Oh, it's the one on this planet. Oh, no. Wait, no. I don't remember IDing any shards. Oh! I think the shard uh, fell into the white hole. Black oh. Hole. So it's way over with your ship. What did it look like? It was a giant one. Oh, the the, the rock. At, at the the rock that we stood on top of. Yes, the Tower of Quantum Knowledge shard is called the Tower Shard. And oh. You know that because you scanned it when you're up close. So now. there's a few things. What is that? Let's see. Uh, that is Ash Twin. Oh, God, that'd be hot, wouldn't it? Our suit's like fine with all this temperature? Yeah. It is very close to the... Is that the white one? Oh, that's a supernova. They oh. Just, that's just a bit of set decoration. Is it a distant supernova? Yeah. So fascinating. There's just so much. <laughs> I mean, it's one of those games where it feels like you're rushed, right? But if you just stop and sit. 
There's a lot going on at any given time. No one's playing hide and seek anywhere in the universe. That's so sad. <laughs> Alright, well, we're about done with the cycle, so... Are we? I'm kind of hesitant to do anything. <gasps> That's beautiful. It's right back. <laughs> Where are you going? Oh. Ooh. <laughs> Quantum. <laughs> Quantum yeah, snowflake. Dude. Um, la, mm, okay. Well, I mean, you can still explore around here. There's still stuff to do. I'm not like, gonna. I'm not gonna like commit to anything. You can go underground, look around. Like, hmm. This planet gets completely smashed by the end of the cycle, so there's still some time to go. Does it? Yeah. Although I would be more comfortable if we end the episode because the recording's kind of a while. Oh no! Yeah. So that's the you're gonna die soon music. Oh, I see. How do you, you want to die? I kind of want to be out in space. Uh, oh, then you can watch the whole thing happen. From yeah, right? Why are you walking? Stop! <laughs> Stop! Oh, shit. It's an interstellar ship. It's so beautiful. The wonder of the universe. Oh, yeah, by the way. Uh, hmm? There's, like, a bunch of shit for you. This, like, teeth-looking thing? Yeah. What is that? Check it out. Is it spooky? Yeah, nothing, like nothing jumps out of you. Ever. Ooh. Except when you go to um, Dark Ramble. That's the only place that has stuff that moves. Really? And Dark Ramble will scare the shit out of you. I don't want to do that. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Oh, you ran out of oxygen. <laughs> Alright, well, that's fine. That's about, as, that's about the same as <laughs> dying from any other way, right? Oh, uh, we could watch a cool supernova. Imagine that, yeah, you're waiting to fucking die and you die for an unrelated reason. Yeah, I mean, honestly, I feel like I wouldn't be too <clears throat> disappointed because i just come back. Yeah, true. You would have a deeper experience. You would know what it's like to suffocate and die. Mm. Which might not be good. I don't want to learn that. Yeah. I think I'd know pretty well what it would be like. Like, I wouldn't suffocate and die and then, like, as I'm dying, be like, aha! Yeah, because I think I think dying from a supernova, you would just be like instantly incinerated. Yeah. But dying from suffocation, you would. Yeah, that's. Right, um, we can get into this next time. Oh, that's a whole thing. <laughs> yeah. Ooh. Yeah, the ship is a death trap, right? Oh no, this is this. Is, oh, you're trying. I'm, oh, I'm, no. <laughs> I'm slowly descending into <laughs> nihilism. Into jokerdom. Well, yeah, it's a death trap. Um. Okay, well, that's yeah. This this is the end of, of, of good old all right. Good old happy fella. Bye bye. We'll be back. Bye bye for next time.